try to recall the plot of Rayman 2. Welcome to another guest appearance from Skulls! Hello! Welcome back, Skulls! Are you ready to go back 10 years and try to remember a game that you haven't thought of? No. Good! <laughs> That's the whole point of trying to recall. Oh no. <laughs> I've never actually played any of the Rayman games. I have. Rayman 2 was my first game. Rayman 1 I played later on, but and then Rabbits happened, and then Ubisoft. Let's not... let's just leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So, um, it starts at like a pirate ship in the sky, and the pirate sh dude's name is Captain Razor Beard. And he has... That guy sounds like a badass. <laughs> so he captures uh, one of the um, residents of the world that he has taken over with his um, space pirates. Oh and... shit, space pirates are in this game? Yeah, 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 that's the whole point. Space pirates Why come... have I not played this? <laughs> space pirates come and take over the whole world, and one of the residents is being taken to a prison with the rest of the residents, and then in that jail you see the main protagonist, Rayman. Apparently uh, the resident that was thrown in jail, his name was Glo Globox and he was Rayman's friend, and I'm like, oh, you're here too! Thank God! Globox like took his hand, reached deep into his throat, and took out a lump. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> whoa, whoa! Slow down there. Want to explain what that means? No, no. A lump is basically like this energy source that like that resides in the the world that they live in. No, it was looms. They're called looms, and they, they they grant people powers and stuff. And so he can store looms looms in his throats. He gives one to Rayman. He gets one of his powers back. And they're trying to find a way out of prison. And thankfully, they find a little like um a sewage pipe thing they can blast open. And then they forget that they're in the sky because of space pirates and stuff. And they start falling towards the earth, and they separate from there. And then the game starts with you taking control of Rayman in this really pretty rainforesty area and then you meet another friend his name is um oh no what's his name damn it i know his name i can't remember he he's just he's supposed to be a fly kind of thing but he looks more like a frog with wings and so he helps him through the level of this rainforesty place that's where you can, you start learning your powers and then you meet some of Globox's kids and they're like, we're looking for our dad. Where's our dad? It's like, uh, what is Globa? He's a giant, fat-looking blue frog kind of character. Okay, now, I thought he was a robot. No, Globa is just he's his just... name makes him sound like a robot. <laughs> yeah, I, I suppose so. But he's a fat frog, and he can store looms in his throat. Okay. <laughs> I wish you had said that earlier. <laughs> yeah. His kids are like, where's daddy? We're looking for our dad. And Rayman's like, oh, we got separated. Well, falling through the sky. I, I'm sure he'll be fine. And then they assume that their dad is dead and so they start crying. And Rayman's like, no, listen, like, I I'll find your dad. I just need to find a, a person that's really, really special and they can grant me more powers. And then they're like, okay, we'll point you towards the direction. And so they help you. And you find this portal that you can jump into. And so from there, you get like the overworld where you can just go into like each level. So, throughout the entire game, you're going from level to level to level, and you meet friends along the way, like Lee the Fairy. And she doesn't look like a fairy at all. It's also kind of weird that she's called a fairy, because she has like a fluffy purple tail and stuff. Listen, and it's- You know what? Whatever. Artistic interpretation. <laughs> Fairies can be whatever they want to be. So, he finds Lee the Fairy, like, Lee, the space pirates are taking over the world. I need help. And then Lee's like, yeah, uh, shit out of luck, I've lost some of my powers too, I only have a little bit left to get- Does this anyone have their powers? <laughs> it's not really- That sounds like a platformer. <laughs> they don't even explain how they lose their powers, they're just like, yeah, space pirates. So, Lee's like, I only have a little bit of energy left to give you, and I'll give you some more as I replenish my own, but here, have some of this energy for now. So does she pull it out of her throat as no, well? No, <laughs> no, she just- she forms it, like, in her hands, so she's okay. just like, here, have some powers from my hand, my godly hands. So you're regaining your powers throughout the entire game by Lee, because Lee helps you in like at least every 10 levels or so. With those powers, you can shoot beams or like shoot other beams to climb onto other like platforms, like a little rope. And at one point, I know you can get glowy fists kind of thing, like your fists turn golden and you can punch the living shit out of people and it's really fun. <laughs> Okay, that's great and all, but what's happening in the story? Oh, true. So, <laughs> so in the story, um, at one point you meet Sam, which is like a snake in in the lake, and he's like, "Hey, I'll help you cross this lake. 
helps you cross the thing. And then you also meet other friends like, um, uh, I think his name is Clunk. He's a giant, like, muscly dude. And he helps you punch through walls and stuff, which is a lot of fun. Okay, this is all great and all, but what exactly is Rayman doing? Why does he need to do this? Oh, he needs to save his world from space pirates because the space pirates have taken over the world. Okay, Kara. but how? They just do. It's fine. No, no, I mean, like, how is he going to save the world? Oh! Yeah, hey, Kurt, can you give me a hint? A hint? Okay. <laughs> Seeing as this is a puzzle platformer that makes you go to different worlds, mm -hmm. why would you need to go to a forest area, lava area, ice area? Oh, you have the free spirits and you have to get the masks! There you go! Yeah, I remember now! There's masks that you have to, to go to this one place where God is like, listen, I can't come back to the world that I created unless I have these four masks. And to get these four masks, you have to defeat the four spirits of this world. So you have to go to this ice level, and then this fire level, and then once you get these masks, I can come back and reap down great vengeance and furious anger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then at one point, you finally reunite with your friend Glowbox. Yeah! Yeah! And then, he's like, Rayman, I've been looking all over for you, I can't, like, we can help each other now. His only purpose throughout the entire game, sadly, is to cower in fear every time a pirate shows up. Oh god, it's slippy. <laughs> and he also dan does a rain dance to help you, like, extinguish fires that you can't pass through. Okay, slightly more useful than... <laughs> <laughs> and so, it also, he also reveals that, like, listen, my kids are missing. Like, there's about 600 of them. Good luck finding them. 600 kids? Yeah, 600 kids. Oh, he's a frog. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, if you can help me find my 600 kids... What is with you and playing all these games that constantly require you to collect a billion things? It's a platformer, you have to collect things. Yeah, but this was the same thing in Dark Cloud. True. <laughs> collect swords, collect the kids. <laughs> collect, collect the children. <laughs> so, there's this one level where you're driving this giant ship, and you have to go to each prison that you're exploring to to gather up all the kids. So every time you like you drive up like a taxi, you like beep beep, and then all the kids start swarming to the pirate ship. You have to save all these kids, but like you're stuck on this level. And if you don't collect the kids, you will not advance because one of the kids apparently has one of the last masks on their face. And of course, it's always the last one you yeah. find. <laughs> <laughs> Once you get the last mask, you summon God, it's like, great, now it's time to kill all these bitches off my, off my planet. And he starts eliminating, killing all these pirates off the planet. And then while God is doing that, you go to the final level, which is the giant pirate ship that you see at the very beginning of the game. Yeah, I was about to ask, what is, uh, what's Razorbeard been doing this whole freaking time? Um, he was being angry, also eating looms. He was eating fairy looms, and it's like, looms are fairies, by the way. I didn't re really explain it that part. You made it sound like it was a candy. <laughs> yeah, they're energy, energy source fairies kind of thing. Okay. And he eats them. The entire time, he's just sitting there doing nothing. As a typical villain. As a typical villain would. And while Rayman's making his way towards the pirate ship, um, Razorbeard also has his one dude come up to his pirate ship and, like, sell him a super armor kind of robot thing in order to kill his enemies. Like so, a salesman. Like, so a salesman comes up and is like, you can kill so many Raymen with this. <laughs> That's actually exactly what he says. <laughs> so, and then Razorbeard's like, good, fucking take it. <laughs> After that, when you while you're going through the level, he also Razor Beard also captures Glowox again and uses him as bait. As what, bait. That's, what a useless piece of shit! You are now worse than Slippy. <laughs> he uses him as bait, like in order to lure Rayman into the final platform. It's like Rayman, finally you have arrived. It's time to die. And he gets into his armor thing, and apparently there's a huge flaw where there's a little like bandage X on the back of the. As robot. there would be. And so once you defeat that, Razor Beard's like, you know what? I'm fucking ending this. He jumps as high as he can. He's trying to land on Rayman to crush him. He misses completely, and he smashes through the level. And then you're into this final lava level, and yeah, this sounds like a platform. <laughs> you're basically gone into hell. I can't remember exactly how you fight in that level. I know it involves a rocket thing, and you fly around that rocket, and then you blast him with more rockets. Once you throw a bunch of rockets and you finally defeat the evil boss, Captain Razorbeard is like, fuck this, sets the robot to self-destruct, flies off, leaves Rayman into the lava level, and then the entire ship explodes. So, epilogue is where everybody is like surrounding this one rock with this one item that Rayman had, which was his shoe. Are they pressing F to pay respects? 
There's just one shoe on this one top of the rock, and they're just they're they're just like, oh, poor Rayman, like he was a hero, true man. And then the shoe starts moving, and they're like, what's that all about? And then they look to the side to where the shoe is pointing. And you see Rayman crawling upwards, like I survived. And everyone's happy, and that's the plot of Rayman too.